Welcome to Two Doctors Homestead. My name is Daniel, and today we're going to look at 10 tips for starting a garden. So maybe you've been gardening a long time, and, and you need some new advice, or maybe you just like lists, right? We'll, we'll go ahead and hit the 10. Um, I've been gardening most of my life, but certainly the last 20-plus years, and I've made a lot of mistakes along the way, so might be able to help you out. Um, take a second and learn from my mistakes. All right, so the first tip is what are you going to grow? So what do you eat? What kind of vegetables do you like? What kind of fruits do you like? Um, you know, don't grow something you're not going to eat. So I made that mistake, you know, a couple years ago. We said, hey, let's grow some okra. Well, we don't really eat okra. And we were reminded that after growing okra and putting in all the time and harvesting okra, we're not big okra fans, right? So think first uh, with what you eat um, and maybe pick a theme, right? If you've got a small garden, um, sometimes picking a theme like, hey, we're going to do a salsa garden and grow tomatoes and peppers and onions and garlic and chives or you could have a spaghetti garden and same thing you're growing tomatoes and maybe herbs and stuff like that so if you pick a theme especially on a smaller garden uh, it'll help you focus focus your plant selection and as you harvest you'll be like hey all right we got the salsa we're going to make salsa all right now that you've picked your plants you got to think about what are your plants going to need to grow um, some plants need a trellis some plants need full sun some plants need shade. Um, some plants need frost every year, right? So there's zones that come into play. Um, you know, if you're growing uh, root vegetables, they might need deep soil. Um, so think about that. So start looking at your plants and figure out what are they going to need to grow. Um, if you've got uh, pumpkins, they're probably going to need a lot of space, right? So you can start conceptualizing um, what your garden's going to need to look like to grow those plants. All right, your next thing is check your planting dates. So if you look on the back of the seed packet or if you look at the, the plant, it's going to tell you when it does best. And especially if you're starting out, you want to stick with that. You know, grow plants in the season um, that they do well. Um, also, you may be able to stagger planting. You can have a spring garden. You can have a fall garden. Um, some plants grow fast, and you could plant those first. Um, some plants grow really big. So look at what the planting dates are, what your growing seasons are. Um, and of course, check your zone. All right, so now that you have your plants, you know what they need, um, you've got your planting seasons figured out. Uh, the fourth one is, do you have enough space, right? So how big is your garden going to be? And you may, you may have to go back and, and say, okay, maybe I can't do 25 tomato plants. Maybe I only need one or two, right? So think about, uh, do you have enough space? Um, I've made this mistake many times, especially smaller gardens. You're down at the uh, garden supply, and you see all these great plants, and you come home, and you've got 50 plants. Um, and a four by four space. So they're all packed in and, and that's just not gonna go well. So keep in mind how much space your plants need and, and how much space you actually have. All right, so number five is how do you wanna start? Um, are you gonna grow from seeds? Or are you gonna buy plants, right? And that's, that's a cost, sometimes cost versus time decision. If you're starting early in the year, January, maybe you can start seeds inside and, and move them outside when the growing season starts. Um, if you've never grown from seeds before, it's, it's not that difficult. Um, but you might say, you know what, I don't want to deal with that and just buy the plants at the store, right? You're going to pay a lot more buying um, full-grown plants versus buying a packet of seeds. So really, it's, it's cost versus time, right? All right, number six is location. Um, you know what you're going to grow. You know how much space they need. Uh, where, where are you going to put it, right? You want it to be conveniently located. Um, maybe you have a giant property, you don't want to have to walk a mile to get to the garden. Um, just think about what's in the way. You might be going out there every day. Um, as part of location is water availability. Um, garden's going to need a lot of water. Does your hose reach there? Do you have a hose that's convenient? You really don't want to have to carry buckets of water um, out to the garden all the time. And then, of course, sunlight. You know, you know what plants you're going to grow. Um, does the sunlight in that area match what you need? If not, think about a different plant. Think about a different location. All right, number seven, super important, is the soil, right? What is your soil like? What do you have? Um, what do you need? What do your plants need? Um, this includes things like drainage. Uh, do you have nice sandy loom soil? Is it rocky? Is it clay? Um, you could check the pH, right? And different plants may have different soil requirements, um, different soil depth requirements. So you got to be realistic about what your soil is, and then can you improve it? There's a lot of products on the market. Um, that may help you improve your soil. You can get hay and you can work it in the soil, you can till the soil. So you gotta think about what, what your soil requirements are based on the plants and, and what soil you have. All right, number eight is 
where are you going to plant your plants in, right? So do you do bags? Do you do beds, boxes, rows? Are you going to get a greenhouse? And some of this comes back to soil and drainage, right? If your soil's not very good, maybe you say, you know what, I'm going to do a planter box, and it gives you a lot more control of the soil in that spot. Um, we're doing potatoes in bags, right? In bags, great for potatoes because they get the depth. They're easy to harvest. Um, some people do the raised boxes, right? Planter boxes. Um, if you're serious, you're row cropping right on the ground. Um, you know, if you want to grow strawberries in December and January, maybe a greenhouse is what you need. So once again, it's looking at the plants, looking at the soil, looking at the requirements, and then trying to understand what kind of garden you're going to build here. All right, and number nine, do you have the right tools? Um, seems simple enough, right? You get a shovel, um, but you, there might be more. Um, you might need more than just a shovel if you're growing on the ground. They make little green pads for your knees. If you get older, that, that can make a huge difference. Um, just think about the tools you're going to need, um, not just to build the garden, but to maintain the garden, to pull the weeds um, and whatnot. A, a few tools can make a huge difference. All right, and the last one really are your external factors. So your weather, um, does it rain a lot where you're at? Um, if you get too much rain, you know, plants need water, but there's such a thing as too much water. Um, so once again, if you've got a lot of rain, maybe you're going back to looking at drainage, raised beds, that kind of thing. Um, does it freeze? Some plants need uh, some, some frost time. Some die the moment you get frost, right? So you gotta think about not just your zone, um, but just the in individual geographic weather characteristics of your area um, also other externals like uh, bunnies and critters um, i got some rabbits that frequent my garden that don't really mind um, but i built a fence around the garden used a uh, rabbit wire um, doesn't seem to stop them but you know you might have mice um, you, you could have all sorts of critters uh, we get possums um, they're going to want to eat your vegetables so think about that um, whether it's something you want to act on but it, it could change the way you build your garden all right, guys, that was the quick list. Ten, ten ideas, ten thoughts, um, ten things to think about. Uh, think your thoughts when you're building your garden. Um, learn from my mistakes and uh, ask questions. Like and subscribe. Uh, comment. I've been gardening a long time. I'm not, not an expert, but I, you know, I've made a lot of mistakes along the way, and I've tried to learn from those. So thanks for taking the time to watch the video.